Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 N64 review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Space Station Silicon Valley. Um, basically just got to choose the first file to just show you what's going on. There's, uh, this is all the different zones and the likes. There's Euro, Ice, Jungle and Desert. And overall there's 30 levels plus an extra secret level if you manage to, well, if you manage to get all the uh, special uh, things. Which I'm not going to show you or tell you about much of. I'll just say that there's secret stuff out there. So starting energy off, it tells you a bit of the story, it also gives basically tells you what you have to do. So the objectives on this one are get energy and steal a sheep and the likes. Basically, you are a microchip that uh, can take over dead bodies. So you find it you, you find out that you killed a dog right at the start of the game and you basically take over that dog and this is your first character, it's your first animal. Overall throughout the game you'll take over tons of different animals, including elephants and uh, mice bloody rams and all sorts of stuff, there's loads of animals. Basically each animal will have an ear, and a, an ear and a bee thing. The bee one on this is a bit of a bark bite type thing to kill enemies with, which uh, to be fair not all of them are enemies, this is just a poor defenseless sheep this one. But there we go, killed the sheep. The ear one just before going to the sheep is basically it lets you jump. So this one here, you're now into the sheep. So you jump around with uh, the ear button and it allows you to float a bit and the B button is just basically a bar so it li quite literally lets you go up uh, probably very the poorest bar impression you've ever heard but eh, I'm trying to do reviews not bars uh, every level you'll get these uh, these little purple orbs and basically you have to collect all of those on a level to get points and also unlock stuff and the likes so you want to be on the lookout for them there's usually 15 on a level but I believe there are more on later levels There's uh, if you want to, you can go around actually killing all the animals if you're very malicious and evil, like myself, because I enjoy killing every single one of the animals, unless it's one that's like a grizzly bear who's really hard. There's also those crates, which when you've got an animal that can smash open, those uh, little crates you get uh, items out of. So I'm just going to go back to the dog, just basically do it, because I believe that's the get energy part of the mission. Unfortunately, the sheep are very slow. They take forever to actually do anything but there we go you just basically push the R button uh, in case you didn't notice you push the R button and it allows you to come out as uh, the dog with a chip so that's pretty cool right so just go around to this crate here and headbutt it there we go collect that that wasn't part of the get energy then I'm obviously getting it mixed up although that is actually your energy meter which is also portrayed somewhere around here I believe it might be the green button again yes it's the green one it's the green bar the blue bars for special powers and the likes with the ear button but anyway when you complete everything that you need to do basically you go into the teleport over here and that's pretty much the end of a mission there's uh, as I say there's 30 missions overall plus an extra one and it may look like it's a pretty poor game or, ver uh, or very odd but it's one of those games that's a very as I say a very odd puzzle type game really if you know what I mean it's a uh, bit of an action adventure with puzzle elements and the likes and it's so zany that it's one of those that really has to be tried to play it that tried to play it tried to appreciate it and experience and everything because when I first got the game I was expecting not to like it and then I ended up being hooked on it for about four or five hours because I absolutely loved it there's uh, this mission here you basically have to trap all the sheep and all you have to herd them all in there which the easiest way to herd them all in there to be fair is kill them and then you just take them in there and one of these buttons should actually let me come out of the uh, of the sheep but I mightn't have that yet nope so never mind that then I'll get onto that later here we go then finally worked it out it allows us to just walk around as a chip and all that but all the time you're doing it you are actually losing energy so you won't have to be very careful about that because that's the green bar again as I see it so I'm constantly losing energy because I don't know there's something up with the environment on this planet so that lets you do that. That's pretty much the easiest way to herd them in and the likes. Um, I'm not going to go through every single animal as I said before, but there are 45 overall, so there's a lot, a hell of a lot for you to do there. The, uh, basically, they all range from different things. They've all got different attack powers and all different specials and the likes. The, uh, the, the possibly the funniest animal on the game is actually the rocket dog. It's a dog with wheels, a jet engine, and it can fire missiles at you. It's I don't know what the hell planet we've landed on for evolution to have gone that crazy, but that's got to be the coolest thing in, in animal form ever. I mean, this here is a radio-controlled mouse type thing, really. It's got wheels and the likes, and it can boost along or can 
spike things with its tail. There's also water on the game, which water basically hurts certain animals. So this one here, it is actually hurting the mouse quite fast, so you want to get it out there. But that's pretty much the entire game, as I say. The, uh, that's the whole point of it. Getting the animals, kill other animals, do certain object objectives, hit certain switches and the likes, and then that's that. So I'm going to like listen to the music for a little bit. So there you go then. Um, there's one other thing just quickly to mention and all that and then I'll uh, actually try and show you a bit of race footage because there's a race on this one is basically camera controls. Um, the camera is pretty good, it's full 360 and all that, you can zoom in and zoom out and like most cameras back in the day it can get stuck on items though so it's not perfect but it is still a pretty good camera and it's pretty useful as well, it's a pretty good thing to have a good camera because a game like this you do end up needing a good camera later on. This is actually the rocket dog now, so we meet again mouse boy, this time I will win, it sometimes goes through dodgy story even though there's not much there, and the whole point of this is you have to race them to do, uh, get a certain objective done. So I'll just try and show you a little bit of the race just before I sign off. Well, anyway, graphics-wise, as you can see, the game's pretty good graphically. It's, uh, there's, to be fair, it's not amazing or anything like that. It's nothing in the leagues of Banjo, Tui, or Conquer's Bad Ferdy and the likes, but it still is pretty good graphics, at least I think so, anyway. So there we go, then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.